let's move forward all right so let's say if you are uh, onboarding the accounts constantly inside cyberarc vault uh, how do you know that uh, the accounts are secured enough that uh, no unauthorized person can access the account okay because the accounts are going to be encrypted with multiple layers of encryption inside cyberarc the accounts are going to be encrypted with multiple layers of encryption okay let's talk about encryption process of uh, converting a data or a text in a format that is non readable by humans converting a text or data in a format that is non readable by humans okay in cyberarc we have multiple layers of encryption and uh, there are basically two types of encryption you have a uh, symmetric encryption symmetric encryption is basically the process of encrypting a text or data in a format that is non readable by humans Oh, sorry, did I write the same definition? My panel. Symmetric encryption is basically a process of using one single key. Process of using one single key to encrypt and decrypt the information. using one single key to encrypt and decrypt the information single key keys are basically they act as a password that you can use to uh, convert the encrypted text or encrypted data back to a readable format and that process is called decryption decryption is basically a reverse process of encryption where you convert the encrypted text or data in a format that is uh, readable so in symmetric encryption there is a there are two methods of encryption in symmetric encryption you use one single key to encrypt and to decrypt the information right but that's not true for asymmetric encryption that's not true for asymmetric encryption on the asymmetric encryption we have a process of basically two keys will be used multiple keys will be used to encrypt we'll use a public key and to decrypt the information private key will be used if you are not aware of uh, asymmetric encryption uh, let me give you a quick example here let's say we have uh, two users um, let's call it person 1 person 2 okay person 1 person 2 each entity involved in the encryption process is going to have uh, one public key and one 
प्राइवेट की ईच एंटिटी इन्वॉल्व इन द इसमेट्रिक इंक्रिप्शन प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू हैव वन पब्लिक की पब्लिक की विल बी लेट्स से वी हैव पब्लिक की टू हियर प्राइवेट की टू एंड फॉर पर्सन वन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सेम पब्लिक की वन एंड प्राइवेट की वन दिस पब्लिक की एंड प्राइवेट की आर बेसिकली मैथमेटिकली लिंक टू ईच अदर इस पब्लिक की एंड प्राइवेट की आर मैथमेटिकली लिंक्ड टू ईच अदर राइट any information that you are encrypting with this public key can only be decrypted with this private key any information that you are encrypting with this public key can only be decrypted with this particular private key let's say a uh, user one the person one wants to send some information to uh, person two okay? user one person one wants to send some information to person two so this is the file person 1 wants to send this information to person 2 but the problem here is when the person 1 sends the information there are some other users here that are trying to sniff the information they might be able to retrieve the information and they might be able to have the access to it which does which person 1 does not want person 1 does not want to share the file with these users so here person 1 is going to ask for public key of person 2 if you uh, are an entity involved in the asymmetric encryption process you are going to distribute your public keys and any user that wants to share the information with you is going to encrypt that information with your public key so that you can use your private key to decrypt the information any information that is encrypted with public key 2 can only be decrypted with private key 2 right so person 1 person 2 shares the public key with person 1 and person 2 decrypts uh, sorry encrypts the file with this public key here public key of person 2 once the file is encrypted with public key of person 2 the person 1 shares the information to person 2 and even if the users retrieve the information they wouldn't be able to decrypt them because they do not have this private key only person 2 has the private key which can be used to decrypt this file okay. only person 2 has this private key this file has been logged by public key 2 and there is only one key to this public key 2 this or there is only one key that can open this file which is private key 2 so public key is a lock and private key is a key public key is a lock and private key is a key any information that has been encrypted with this particular public key can only be decrypted with this private key that is why you can distribute the the, the public key to anyone involved in the encryption asymmetric encryption process and the user that wants to send the information to you is going to encrypt the information with your public key and when you get the information you decrypt it with your private key this is how a typical asymmetric encryption works right all right cyberarc uses both the symmetric and asymmetric encryption methods both the symmetric and asymmetric encryption method and there are multiple layers of encryption involved which we are going to understand in uh, probably the next session how the encryption actually work and again you do not have a control over the encryption process but the encryption algorithm this is an important uh, thing to know encryption algorithm that cyberarc uses for symmetric symmetric encryption it is uh, aes 256 and for asymmetric encryption it is rsc 2048 right both the form of encryption is going to be used during the uh, cyberarc account encryption uh, 